Hello wildflowers and welcome to a rainy summer's day in the garden here at Belladonna Cottage, a small suburban homestead in the making nestled in a sleepy country town far, far away on the wild southeast coast of Australia. In this episode, we'll be harvesting from the kitchen garden and cut flower patch, baking a scrumptious summer focaccia, doing a little bookbinding, and then painting the year's first art journaling prompt together. As we paint, we'll soak up the summer sunshine south of the equator and watch the bees and butterflies joyfully buzzing about the rosemary, chamomile and calendula blossoms in the garden. You may recall the episode where Mr. Rose and I first planned out the kitchen garden and built these four garden beds, three for our favourite Mediterranean vegetables and one for herbs, with a scattering of edible, magical and medicinal flowers as companions. And now, just a few months later, it's a jungle. There's an enchantment about this garden that is growing every day as my magical ingredients blossom and sprawl cheerfully jostling for space. The spirits of chamomile, wormwood, lavender and thyme are singing their silent song and I can feel the fairy magic growing every time I wander out to the garden. It takes time and patience and many turns of the wheel to weave a green spell, you know. And for this little cottage witch and her happy elf companion, there is still much work to be done. But oops, <laughs> it started to rain again, so let's hurry inside and get started on that focaccia, shall we? Whilst those in the north are celebrating the return of the light, here summer is in full swing and we're rejoicing in the abundance of Lamas, or Lunazar, the pagan harvest festival. The garden is exploding with delicious herbs, juicy summer fruits and ripe tasty vegetables, and the days are warm, long and lazy. Traditionally, Lamas was a time to give thanks to Mother Nature and celebrate the harvest with families and neighbours gathering together to bottle, preserve and pickle every last vegetable before the seasons changed once more. On Lamas, the first sheaves of grain were cut and by that night the first loaves of bread for the season would have been baked. And so it is one of my favorite ways to celebrate, to bake some bread using herbs and flowers from the garden. Follow your heart. What do you say? Fight the I rather fancy this focaccia looks like a pretty cottage garden itself, don't you? And with lashings of butter, I know it will taste just as good as it looks. As always, I'll share a printable PDF of this recipe with my Wild Roses on Patreon. But for now, while it's baking, let's go and see what Mr. Rose is up to in the book bindery. We've been having so much fun together, creating our range of cottage garden artist journals. And this week we've been busy introducing two new fabrics, Pretty Posy and Tulip Patch, which I can tell you I have one of each. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's really hard to resist keeping every single one but I know I have to post them out <laughs> so that you can all join me in art journaling together. I suppose it's true what they say that the best gift is one you'd like to keep for yourself. <laughs> Well, the focaccia is ready. Looks good, doesn't it? And it's time for what we've affectionately come to call Two Bears Bindery to take a little lunch break amongst the garden flowers. One of these bears is a big fan of bread. <laughs> I'll let you guess who it is. Every order we make is handmade with love and a lot of laughter too. And I can't wait to get creative with you after lunch. Have you got your journals ready, wildflowers? My first art journal was of course Wild Fairy Magic and the purpose of this journal was simple, to inspire a more magical life, more in tune with the seasons. Art journaling heals the soul, delights the inner child and calms the mind. And so for this, our first journal prompt together, dear wildflowers, my idea was to illustrate a seasonal recipe that you love. For those in the north emerging from winter's chill, that might be a wild green coal cannon or a bread and butter pudding. But for us in the south, I can see your pages filled with sweet iced teas and colorful salads. So take up the medium of your choice, pencils or watercolors or gouache like me, and let's make some magic. Now, I know not everyone out there is a professional illustrator like me, and facing a blank page in a brand new journal might be daunting. But as you can see, I started with a rough thumbnail sketch, erased my drawings and started again <laughs> quite a few times. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> and then once you put paint to paper, it's really about letting go, not being too attached to the outcome or freaking out about mistakes. Out here in the garden, I'm reminded that nature is less about perfection than she is about wild enthusiasm. You know, I made quite a few mistakes on this one, but I just took a deep breath and painted over it. I suppose my art style is mostly inspired by decorative folk arts and botanical illustrations, less concerned with an accurate depiction and more about the spirit of the plants themselves. 
I'll share a link to my folk art Pinterest board in the description below, and maybe it will spark some inspiration for you too. Just have a play and let your inner child take over. I so hope you enjoyed this episode. It was a pleasure to invite you into our world for a spell and share in the magic of our enchanted little garden here. In the next episode, call it part two if you like, we'll take a closer look at the kitchen garden and the homesteading skills we've been practicing and spend some time with dad again. Yep, he's back by popular demand. <laughs> If you'd like an art journal of your own, so you can paint along with me next time, you'll find them in my online store, along with art prints, oracle cards, coloring books, and more. All things creative and magical, handmade with love right here in Australia. If you'd like to support this channel, you can like and subscribe or join me on Patreon where you'll receive all sorts of goodies, bonus content and printables, like the summer garden focaccia recipe we made today. Until next time, beautiful wildflowers, may you be blessed with abundance, whatever the season. May your imaginations run wild, your faces feel the warmth of the sun, and your inner children be ever laughing. Merry meet and merry meet again, dear friends, and a blessed turn of the wheel to all. Mm -hmm.